look. The weather out there is bad. Bad. When it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. Because she's hurt. Or worse. Oh, I am not a good aim, am I? I would, you know, starve to death after a while. Oh, hell yeah. No. Hi. I'm sorry, little rabbit. Well, looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Look. Smoke from that chimney. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the long dark. We are picking up just where we left off, which is we just walked through the middle of nowhere and found this little house. Hello? Anyone out there? I was talking. Hello? He's so rude, this guy. This is a s little small town, but I think we want to go there because that's where people are. Ooh. What happened here? <laughs> this guy didn't have a good day, did he? It looks like a prisoner. Ooh. Thank you. Yo, sprain. It's okay. Being behind here? No. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Oh, so it's the blood coming from here and going to... Yes, it is. It is. That's not scary at all. It's coming from the inside. Anything? No. Nope. Alright, let's go in. If I can Hello? Anybody here? Oh, hello. That's a nice gun you got there. Let's put that away. Hello? Hey. Hey, wake up. <laughs> Holy sh- uh, Wait! Hold your fire! Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. Must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, 
Things must be worse than they thought. So, I guess I'm, we know what happened to the guy outside. Well, let's just talk to her and see what we can find out. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade, can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble? Trouble fell me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Who are the bad men? The men. They... they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught? By these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? Yes, she is. Then there is always hope. The bad men, did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak, but they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Where are we? No, a forgotten town, deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm, and my compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend. But I'll do what I can to help. My mind is... Fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp. Others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you. Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? 
The bad man took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Mag of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities. Scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so, we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. <laughs> On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do after the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here, since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left awake to notice it. What really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? 
People started to get cold, hungry. I panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it, possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Before... You mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? The memories are gray, misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. All right. That's a lot of info. And we just got new mission no that that's that's not it so she want food and fuel which is fine i guess okay so this is an internal fire so i think what i'm going to do is um i'm going to harvest these and i'm gonna go drop off the fuel in in her bin which is just right outside and then I'll meet you back here when it's morning and I've slept and stuff so I'll see you then hello and good morning so I harvest these put them on the floor so they could start curing I put some firewood in her Bin, so that's full. Now all I need to do is stock her fridge with food. I'm just gonna have some thing to eat and drink. Well, that's gonna be most of it, I'm assuming. Yeah. And then we're ready to head out. Well, we're not quite ready, because I need to make sure I can still carry a lot of stuff. And I think I'm going to drop most things that I do not need in here. Um, I'm probably not going to need any of this, but I most definitely do not need double up of everything. Uh, and I definitely don't need this. Uh, the rest is okay. I think I'm gonna leave the bedroll on the floor. Yeah. Because I don't think I want to carry that with me. So I have this, and I am now very light. I don't have a lot on me. Which is good. This is where, well, her fridge is there. Uh, let's see, what time is it? It's really early morning. I kind of wanted to check out the rest of her place, because if... I can't really see... Hope I can still eat this. No, we're gonna give it to the Grey Mother, I think. But yeah. I will... I think sleep just an hour until morning. It should be lighter now. And then I can search through her house and then we'll go gas station. 
Yeah. Let's see, this is so much better. It's a radio. That doesn't work. There's nothing in there. Yeah. It's another can. Oh, but I am going to need this. Nothing in there. And I can't look through the rest of her stuff. I can search her freezer. Which is empty. Okay, so this is where she wants shit. I'm just gonna do that. For now. Yeah, that's not a lie. Let us head out to the gas station. Yeah. This one is... Did you hear that? That is right here. Somewhere. It is really loud. Oh, that is... That thing is definitely burned. Pretty sure that's over there. Yeah, let's just leave that. So that's the post office, the bank. And if we look at the map, we're going here to the gas station. Yeah. Well, we can look at these. Kind of. Can we look in the trunk of this car? No. should go directly to the gas station. Is there ever anything in these? I don't know. You know what? I just want to have exactly 10 of them. And before we leave and stuff, we'll make sure to loot through everything for loot and both the cars, the houses and everything, you know, all of it. We'll see. First, gas station. So that should be a gas station. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. a deer. Can't open that. There's nothing in the back. Anything? No? Just no? I always look in those. I don't think I've ever found anything in them. Can we look in the trunk? Doesn't seem to be anything. <clears throat> okay, let's go in. Oh, hello. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna want to loot through the entire thing and then talk to him after because the talking always seems to take, you know, ages. So I think we'll do that first. Let's get all this shit. Ooh, coffee. Let's have a cup of coffee. I don't need the rocks now. Those way. But, oh wait. Yes. Ooh, there's some water. Quackers? We like crackers. There's 
nothing in there. Beef jerky. Let's search the cooler. Soda, tuna. Oh, that's a lot of soda. We're not gonna run out. Well, we're gonna give most of it away, but you know. That's besides the point. More water. None of this is usable. But we do like chocolate. That's coffee. I'm curious. Would it count to like boil up all the coffee? Because we can melt snow easily at Grey Mother's Infinite Fire, right? And then just toss it into a fridge and it counts. Oh, we can sleep here. It's not a bedroom. History of the Collapse. I'm gonna let you pause and read that. Because I'm just not going to. Sleep stop, I will take it. because we don't know pry bar. Ooh, that is a note. Let's read that. Or you can read that, you know? But that gives us a new objective. So we'll... Where is that going to be on the map? Oh, that's way up here. Okay. So I want to do that too before leaving. Uh, we'll see when we can find time for that. Ooh. Pinnacle peaches. Matches. Firewood. That is absolutely nothing. And is there anything in there? Oh, there is. I just could barely see it. this one. Oh, we picked up a lot already. That's nice. Nothing. Mm, nothing in there. Socks. Will come in handy. We can use it to repair stuff. And my favorite, water. Toilet water. Some deliciousness right there. Alright. Um, so, I think I missed nothing from right here. Pretty much. And I'll look behind this guy here. And because I... Know that sometimes there can be things behind or inside of these, but I don't think I'm going to, you know, take my time breaking that up because that is just really time consuming. Yeah, you can pause and read that. But we'll take it. Energy drink. Of course, we're going to need that. Ooh, we're definitely gonna take the storm lantern. Of course, the cash register is empty. But that should pretty much be everything in the gas station. That gave us a decent amount of food that we can drop off to Grey Mother and stuff. And that's a lot to keep, too, which is good. And then, did we get something new to wear? Well, there are different socks. Those are worse, obviously. Yeah. And this. 
are worse, but I think it's only because these are really, really bad quality. So I think when those are fixed up, they're going to be better than what we're wearing. And for now, we have this main mission, and we have the highway robbery, which we're going to look for supplies in the truck. And when we come back next time, we're going to talk to this guy. So, I will leave you guys right here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.